Good morning to you, my name's Father Roger Butcher, welcome to our midweek Eucharist and the Eucharist this morning is dedicated to the benefits. For all those who are at home, trying to uh, their very best to avoid the coronavirus and of course that impacts greatly on our church life, we're unable to commune, to come together and the Eucharist is key to that. As we come together, we all feast upon this one person. We feast upon Christ, who gives us our nourishment, who gives us himself, that we might live. It's that important. So to be separated apart is very difficult for us. But today it's uh, dedicated uh, to our churches in the uh, Pitta Valley Benefice. So let us start. Take up the whole armour of God, alleluia, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything to stand firm, alleluia, alleluia, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Alleluia! Because he rose from the dead, he's alive. So we breathe out the world and we breathe in Christ. Let's prepare our hearts and our minds. <clears throat> Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We remember our prayers of penitence. Our Lord Jesus Christ said the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your soul and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord have mercy. In baptism we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him, as we confess our sins in penitence and in faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sin for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Do you please accept God's forgiveness? Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sin. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say the Gloria. Glory be to God on high and in earth peace, good will towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King. God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, 
have mercy on upon, upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest on the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art the Most High, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And today's collect. God of hosts, let us pray. Let us pray today's collect. As we pray uh, for George, St. Saint, Saint George the Martyr. Let us pray. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death. Give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So our liturgy, our first reading, is from the book of Acts. When the officials had brought the apostles into face the Sanhedrin, the high priest demanded an explanation. We gave you a formal warning, he said, not to preach in this name. And what have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seem determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. In reply, Peter and the apostles said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to men. It was the God of our ancestors who raised up Jesus, but it was you who had, it, had him executed by hanging on a tree. By his own right hand, God has now raised him up to be the leader and saviour, to give repentance and forgiveness of sins through him to Israel. We are witnesses to all this. We and the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. This so infuriated them that they wanted to put them to death. Here ends the reading. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist said to his disciples, He who comes from above is above all others. He who is born of the earth is earthly himself and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bear witnesses to the things he has seen and heard, even if his testimony is not accepted. Though all who do accept his testimony are attesting the truthfulness of God, since he whom God has sent speaks God's own words. God gives him the Spirit without reserve. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to him. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, but anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life. The anger of God stays on him. This is the, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And may it say, I speak in the name of one God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. John the Baptist, we're told, is a very holy man. And John the Baptist hands over to Jesus Christ. But of course, the message that John the Baptist brought and he wanted to preach to people was to repent. And I'm just going to spend a, a couple of minutes just to less than that to unpack what that means a little bit. We often feel as human beings there's things that we do wrong in our lives and uh, um, there's a, a bitterness which can boil up over within us. This is remorse, it's not repentance. Tertullian, a uh, very early person in the church, was, was 
wanted to point out remorse was this inner spirit within myself which felt bitter and chewed up about the things that I did, looking for a new heart. That I wanted a new heart with inside me. Um, that's remorse playing itself out. But repentance is not the same as remorse. Repentance is a complete change of mind and a complete change of being. Repentance is to be likened to myself giving everything away of me to the other. That's a whole change. That's a whole um, change of mind. It's the same within a relationship. When we get things wrong in a relationship and that we come back to that person and we, we apologise and we want to repent, the other person wants to make sure um, that we're not going to do these things again. So there's a change of mind, there's a turning from where we were to where we should be. That's repentance. That's the message that, that, that John the Baptist wanted to get across. That we needed to change our minds, that we needed to turn away and find this new life in Christ. That's repentance and that's Christianity. That there is new life to be found in Christ by giving away all of me so that Christ may live in me. That's repentance. It's not the same as remorse. It's not turning over a new leaf. It's to give all of me to the other, that I turn away, that I become new. That's, that's repentance. So let us declare our faith in God the Father, who is Son and Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead, and of the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. We pray today and remember all our saints and all our angels. There are all evidence in our faith. We remember and praise you for the saints and martyrs of this and every age. Whose lives like seeds drop to the ground. Yet whose witnesses has inspired us and borne fruit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, you have always taken men and women of every nation, age and colour, and made them saints, like them transformed, like them baptised in Jesus' name, to share in your glory. And so let us pray, like St George, that we may be loyal to our faith in Christ. May our lives bear witness to the faith that we profess, and our love bring others to the peace and the joy of your gospel. And so, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are suffering at this time, those known to us and those not known. We pray for those who are dying, for those who have died. We give particular attention for Craig and for Marion and for Rob. 
for all those at this time who died, who are dying. We pray and give particular intention for ourselves as well as we journey on through our belief systems. Being open-minded, listening to others, recognising that there are people further ahead on this path, the saints and the martyrs who, who look and encourage us forward through the, our difficulties. And say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our benefits, for all those who are at home. We pray for those who are self-isolating. We pray um, as they try to live their lives as normal, as best as they can. And say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the saints who went before us, who have spoken to our hearts and touched us with the fire of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. away my sin take away all my iniquities that this may be a suitable sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin amen lord of life with unbounded joy we offer you our sacrifice of praise as we are fed with the bread of heaven may we know your resurrection power through christ our risen lord amen Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this one, that one drop of your blood is enough to take away the sin of the world. Amen. Lord Jesus, through this sacrament we know your death to be the way to life eternal. Grant that we who celebrate the faithfulness of your martyr George, even to death, may share with him the victory of your risen life who is alive and reigns and now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give you thanks Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of our wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women to the, to the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gates of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and, and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest lord you are holy indeed the source of all holiness, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, 
he took the cup, gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. The saved Father calling to mind his death on the cross. His perfect sacrifice made once for the sin of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people. Gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Blessed Mary and St. George and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. I say rejoicing in God's new creation. Let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sin, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Alleluia the body of Christ, keep me in eternal life. The blood of Christ, keep me in eternal life. So let us pray. Eternal God who gave us this holy meal in which we have celebrated the, the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr George by our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection give us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil and to share in the fruit of the tree of life 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing this day, would you please take God's blessing. May it be your comfort. May it help you to, to fight the difficulties of these of this world, the, the darkness which we inhabit, the evil which is present in our world, all those things. And the scripture says a blessing is a state of, of being with God. It's to know that God is with you and that becomes your armour and your light against the forces of this world. Would you please take that blessing? God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Because it's Easter, I'm going to shout very loud out of the window. He is not here. He is risen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.